further, what are some other things we need to look at? External communications. Well, we've taken a look at making sure that we have a secondary copy of all of our secure data. But if we cannot communicate with the outside world, we still are not going to be able to execute all the business procedures that we're going to need to execute to support our business functions. So we need to make sure that all external communication providers have disaster plans and know what they plan to do. When they have disasters, do you know who to contact and do you know what the plan B is for your providers? This includes all of your data services. Let's assume that you are downloading data, streaming data service, especially if you're downloading something from a satellite. There was a provider that provided download financial stream data for my office at one point, and the satellite failed. The satellite feed totally failed, and they were able, within a matter of two hours, to switch over to another satellite. We just needed to realign our satellite dish, and we've got our feed back up and running. The reason we were able to recover so quickly is because our data provider had a good disaster recovery plan. They were able to recover quickly as well. Take a look at your utilities that are non-communication related or that may overlap somewhat. Electricity, water, and your regular old telephones. What are the disaster recovery plans for each of your utility providers? What if they are not able to provide these utilities? Do you need to have your own disaster recovery plan component that will provide for electricity if there is none? That's probably a great thing for you to be able to do. What happens if a major outage occurs? If you live in a state which has severe winters, what happens if there's an ice storm and you're out of electricity for two weeks? Do you have backup generators? Those are some of the things that you want to be able to consider, plan for, and get beyond if the disaster occurs.